The investigation into the riots on January 6th take place at a time of fresh challenges to America, testing lawmakers and straining the public's ability to pay attention to the past and the present. But in a healthy democracy, we must be able to do both. President Eisenhower warned that in managing national affairs, you can't let urgent matters eclipse important ones. The nation's leaders faced a test of that theory this week. In the urgent category is inflation, up 8.6% compared to May a year ago, a 40-year high. In the important category, the House hearing about the attempted overthrow of the 2020 election. Eisenhower's advice was aimed at a truth. If you only attend to the urgent, important problems will become urgent soon enough and you won't be prepared. For example, it was important to knock back Donald Trump's proof-free claim the election was stolen. We will win this, and we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won. That lie became urgent soon enough. I was slipping in people's blood. Um, you know, I, I was catching people as they fell. I, you know, I was, it was carnage. It was chaos. Officer Carolyn Edwards uh, testified to what happens when you let important matters slip. I ran towards the West Front and I tried to hold the line. Edwards wasn't the only one to hold the line. President Trump's lawyer held the line by threatening to resign when Trump pressed the Justice Department to overturn the election. The entire leadership of the Justice Department held the line, too. Republican governors in Arizona and Georgia held the line. So did election officials in those states and others. Vice President Pence held the line. The reason these hearings are important enough to be considered at the same time we focus on the urgent matter of inflation is the hearings redefine what the line is. To hold the line is to put courage and action behind ideas that are true and enduring. We reaffirm the strength of those ideas in public moments like these hearings. Reaffirming that in American democracy, the winner of an election is not determined by anger and force, but by the will of the people. That a presidency cannot be oriented entirely around the maintenance of power, as Donald Trump's was after the November election. That wishes are not facts. And finally, the hearings reaffirm that concern exclusively for things that are immediately before us risks distancing us from our contact with where the bright lines are, which means when the moment comes, those of us who lack Officer Edwards's courage will fail to hold the line because we won't know where to find it. And we'll be right back.